Alright everybody, welcome back to Cyberpunk. Alright, so hurry up and wait again. Here we are. Guess I just gotta wait. Bill Jablonski. Mm. Did Okada give you the details? Didn't go into a whole lot of detail, no. Joshua Stevenson. You and me are gonna give that murdering fuck what he deserves. I'll tell you more inside. Get in. You're driving. I'm driving. You son of a bitch. They're supposed to pass down this street. We just sit tight till they show up and follow them. I want to see the light in that motherfucker's eyes go out. Whoa. Why? So we can smell his own fear before he dies. Want him dead why exactly? That's not your concern. Rather know what I'm getting into. Stevenson murdered my wife. They convicted him, put him on death row. But the slime bag found a get out of jail free card over my dead fucking body. Wait, Stevenson won't be alone? Could have prepared better knowing that. No one else needs to die today, only him. Who's his entourage? They gonna be packing? Ordinary people. Once we scare them, let them know we're serious, they won't lift a finger. How do you define ordinary? Corpo rats who got him out of the can. They'd sell their own mothers to save their own skins. Just don't fire at them. Nothing to do but wait, then. What's your name? V. Let me tell you something, V. That sack of filth took the life of someone I loved. I can't live with the thought that he... There they are! Step on it! Killed that guy in the process, but you know, casualties of this. I mean, the lights are turning green for us, so we're, you know, not running any red lights. Well, maybe if your truck was faster. So that one does not move. I know with the car chases and stuff, you really can't, uh, you really can't lose them unless you really try to. Stop the damn car! Fuck! Break! I said, break! This is it. Let's go. Stay close, I'm gonna blow the motherfucker to bits myself. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking kill him! NCPD! Stop right there! Lieutenant Vasquez, NCPD! Stop right there! You're protecting a murderer! Drop it or I shoot! No, stop! Stop the killing! They're here to kill you! It's not their fault. Shoot the guy, and our deal is dead. Vasquez! Shoot! Right! Let's just all shoot holes at each other. Loud? Fuck! We can't leave him. 
in here. Media vultures will be here any minute. The fuck are you doing? Stop! NCPD! Stay where you are and get that goddamn semi out of here! We take him with us. What? Olga, we've got a situation. You want, you want me to Somebody come with you? Somebody just tried to drop. <laughs> I need you. You're out of your fucking mind. Hey, another word, Greg. You and I am calling this. Busted an attempted hit on my Don't guy. Make me ruin your career. Yeah. One nobody. Cash. And I mean Bill nobody. nobody. No well, problem. We're we'll running deep so ahead to be sure. I'm just. Uh, Thanks. Bar. I owe you. No patrol car. And stay off the frequencies too. Can't have this coming back. What the hell is this? What's your name? What a fucking mess! Told you to drop it, dickhead. First, you're gonna tell me what the she hell is going on. Listened. But I can explain. We're Just clear to go. Boys from the don't precinct go. will mop up here. I, I need you. It's okay. You don't need to tell me. My name is Joshua Stevenson. And your associate? What was his name? Bill Jablonski. Ring a bell? Sadly, yes. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Wait a sec, you're V. I heard of you. Can't say the same about you. We can't take him out of the question. He's way too big a threat. Well, I want to give him a job. <sighs> Christ on a stick. Finally, something that isn't a complete snore fest. I could binge watch this all day if I had some popcorn. You gonna tell me what it is you want from me? Well, this one time Rachel is right. We can't stay here. Come with us. You'll find out all you need to know on the way. I gotta object, strongly. Noted. But you don't have a vote here. Ha! <laughs> That's it. Got no fucking idea what this is about. But if you don't go with them, I'm never talking to you again. All right, I'll go with you. Uh, move it! We're running late! Have you ever experienced anything that changed the meaning of existence? Changed your life? Could say that. Sure. Then you will understand exactly what I'm trying to do. Twelve years ago, I was sentenced to prison for armed robbery. And other sins. I shot and killed several people in cold blood, and it didn't mean anything to me at the time. But behind bars, you get all the time in the world to think. And I thought to correct the errors of my ways. Why'd you shoot him? I was holding a gun. I didn't like the way they looked at me, and I had the power to stop them. I still see their faces just before I... <clears throat> Frozen in time. God, give me strength to never forget. A tale of repentance, redemption, and rebirth? Been on TV a thousand times, probably. I'm usually asleep before it's half over. This won't be TV. This will be entirely different. Spill already. What do you want from me? Stay with me for the day. And I'll pay you what you were promised to kill me. Uh, excuse me? With what money? Not mine. The studio's. And the studio will pay. I still got no idea what it is you want from me. Remain by my side and talk to me. That's it. Don't like Rachel. She's got the gift of the gab, surely. I'm merely a springboard for her career. <laughs> a high-value asset. You're the one I want to talk to. You know, still got that contract to kill you. What's to stop me from fulfilling? me. One strange twitch, I kill you. Hey, there's no reason to upset Vasquez. Your fixer will get what they want. I'll make sure of it. 
How you figured that? Trust me. Everyone will be satisfied. I guarantee it. Just till the end of the day. Till the end of the day. I sense anything going wrong, I'm out. No one will force you to stay. We're almost at Gloria. By the way, Vasquez, uh, I could end you in Give me a two seconds. I need to prepare. Vasquez, keep an eye on them. I'm gonna stay in the car. Keep it short. We're on a tight schedule. This is weird. There's a light that never goes out. Zuleika? You're Late. I found a companion along the way. Someone from the studio? Do you remember what you wrote me in your last letter? He is everything you spoke of. V, meet Zuleka. V, pleasure. Mm. You are a friend of Joshua's? Recent acquaintance, more like. <sighs> Mama isn't back yet. We can talk inside until she returns. Uh, come in. Hurry up. I'll be waiting outside. Looks like someone doesn't enjoy waiting patiently. Fuck off! Dream. All righty. An Ephora of Saint Cyril of Alexandria. I don't care about that. I find pretty much anything related super boring. So I probably won't read it if I can help it. The Coptic Bible. This, I think, we actually have read. Bearing the dead. Father, how difficult is it to follow in Christ's path? Ugh. Meeting with mother. Things are so tense with mother, it is hard to get through to her. If you have some spare time, I would be grateful if you could pay us a visit next week. The sign of Jonah. Thank you. Gave me the best possible advice. Love is the ultimate remedy and forgiveness. Okay. Your God, your Karushi. In other news, the NCP boost to its authority. As Please sit down. Can I offer you anything? A drink?
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Zuleika is the sister of the man I killed. She wrote me letters while I was doing time. That is how we two were united. Through forgiveness. You're the reason Joshua found redemption. It was her letter that started everything. I lost a brother. God gave me another. I'm not buying it, not at all. You believe in a merciful God, yet he allowed for your brother's murder. Let it happen. I grieved for Reuben. You cannot know how much. I wanted him back. But then God showed me his plan, and I found peace. The Lord knows I regret killing Reuben, but if not for him, I never would have found the path to God. Yeah, still not buying it. I guess then, you don't believe in the Creator. Can't say I do. Zuleika and I have a, a running dispute. I was thinking you could help us resolve it. No, no. I never agreed to anything like this. I'm all ears. Joshua, he... He thinks he's the Messiah and wants to end his own life. That is not true. I never said I was any sort of Messiah. Suicide? Do you really think that's what the Lord could ever want from you? It won't be suicide. I still don't get what's happening here, Zuleika. When they put Joshua away, the scream sheets devoted space to him on page five. But when they discovered he'd found God, suddenly he was on primetime TV. What's wrong with using a platform to tell people about my faith and God's grace? Hmm? We are way past that, Joshua. Instead of being executed in prison, he agreed to let Braindon Studio Vultures record his agony as he's being crucified. Why the brain dance? What, what's in it for you? Zuleika transformed me into a child of God. It's time I repaid that debt. I want to bear witness to love's existence in a manner that all the lost souls on this wretched earth can understand. Why love? If unconditional love exists, then so must God. It's time the world was reminded of His divine presence. Think of the millions jacked into their feeds like livestock. The children growing up in gang-infested streets. Do they know love? Think of the joy toys on Jig Jig Street. Coked out corpos in their offices, murderers who stalk the streets. I want to reach them. I will reach them. And think of paid killers like you, V. Have you known love? Do you know what it is? Uh, mother's home. Joshua Stevenson. We meet again. And who are you? My name is V. Go. You are not welcome here. Mrs. El Amar. I have come to beg you for forgiveness. You... You murdered my son. That is something I can never forgive. I truly do regret the pain I have caused you. Out of my house, now! Just go, please. Out, all of you! <laughs> we should leave, really. Please, Mrs. Elamar! Murderer! It's okay, just go. You took my Reuben from me. My child. My son. Let's go back to the car.
Hello. Oh god damn, they're going so slow. I wouldn't forgive them either. You have a choice. You chose poorly. <laughs> just wish I could have talked to Gloria and you know, explained everything. If somehow I thought I, I thought she'd find it in her heart to forgive me. Time to grab a bite to eat. Oh. Where are we eating? Uh, Pie Z. They do a great cup of coffee. Gotta kill a cheesecake at Pie Z. I'm lactose intolerant. Me too. How about vegan avocado ice cream then? How well do you know the city? Why does it matter? I'm just curious. Happen to like it out here is all. You can't know Night City well, ever. It's always changing, always surprising. Part of its charm. Hmm, <laughs> true that. really odd name for hey, a place Pi Z. You know where uh, the game comes from. It's gonna be Pi Z, right? But you know, kind of made it for the American audience. Take Stevenson inside. Grab us all a table. Need a word with our stowaway here. the hell kind of turn was that? It was like a complete 180. Or no. 180. It was like a fucking 90 degree turn. Wait up a sec. I want to talk. Okay. So, what do you think about our next big BD star? What are you waiting for? Honestly, can't rightly make my mind up about him. Let me help you out. Stevenson's a very disturbed man whose obsession with guilt is driving him to the brink of insanity. If he's as crazy as you say, why is he so important to you? Because Stevenson's got a little something that's in short supply, but in very high demand. That little Face something's tattoos? called authenticity. And that brain, composed entirely of cat shit at this point, he truly believes what he says. Huh. Sounds like the perfect BD actor. Mm-hmm. And one incapable of fucking up in any way. Stevenson could be a fat old fucking gold vein for our studio. And that's my concern because... You're fucking with his mind, asking probing questions. You're making him doubt, and most importantly, jeopardizing my investment. So I'm prepared to pay you double what he's promised you to quietly walk away. Don't do it, V. My answer's no. Why do I think you don't understand what I'm offering you? Understand just fine. Let's go inside. Not bad for a petty mark off the streets. Grown curious how this will all end. In pain and profit, that's how. One's sacred, the other's insane. Though who knows if they aren't congruous concepts. But yeah, I'm curious too. And I've been surprised before.
Pizzy. Uh, I will say the it it does look really nice. It, uh, you know, I go to a place that uh, looks like that. Chronicles of the Titania, book one, we have read. a place like this to eat. You know, is this frickin' loud in here? Probably wouldn't stay. customer with that Vasquez, even for a badge. He is set in his ways, like so many men. Damn. This brain dance, I'm curious. Tell me more. Title's the passion. We're speaking to the LCD. Man, that food looks awful. And it's gonna revolution Sorry, CDPR, but you didn't do a good I job on that. Well... Stevenson's furlough is only so long, we can only scroll the last bit with him. But we'll fill in the run-up to the finale with BD doubles and Nemo Bank assets. It'll feel like Stevenson, though. How's that even possible? Give me a break. We're part of EBM. Infinite investment in tech. A couple of years and we won't be using actors anymore. My dream of the day. So why Josh? Sounds like you don't even need him now. The son of man's agony. You can't weave it strictly out of digital threads just yet. Copy that. Out of the car. Hands up. Can we please talk about something besides faith? Josh, you're a knight. Topic of choice? We have a 1053 and a 1054. I don't know. I spent years not talking to anyone. Okay. Nothing hard. What do you do to relax? Uh, well, let's see. I, I read scripture. I watch brain dances and movies. Did you hear about the remake of Badlands Raid? The original's always the original. And ten times better. Chatter's pointless. That's enough. Stevenson can't be distracted. He has to focus now. Relax, Rachel. Yes, what? I don't know anything about you. How do you spend your leisure time? What do you do to unwind? None of your fucking business. I mean it as a serious question. I meditate. Didn't take you for one with a spiritual side. You being... well... you. Know what your problem is, all of you? You refuse to understand that spirituality can only ever be personal. And why the fuck are you here anyway? For the free meal? I'll tell you exactly why. No, I, I don't give the slimmest shit what you have to say. Ugh, all this talk about grace and salvation and transformation. I could puke. Take it from a beady producer. Religion's an elaborate lie. All of them. But, Rachel. No, we're done for the day. Finish your meal, we'll put you up at the studio. And you, get lost. I'll get your fee soon. Goodbye, V. I am truly glad to have met you. Props. Really well played, Dad. What do you make of it all? Guy just might be the biggest nut job I've ever seen. But it's still corporate exploitation. Don't even feel sorry for him, in the least. We could talk in circles, but who cares what we think? What would it change? 
corpse will continue to grow rich off his type, and the masses will live on with their pipe dreams. Hang on, where's Rebel Johnny? Seem to have lost him. Well, I found him. He's inside that guy. He's the real rebel. Make up your mind, which is nut job or side. He's fucked in the head. The world's fucked in the head. And you're fucked in the head because my fucked up head is inside it. Guess if you want to save the world, that's the first step. Get fucked in the head. 0.7%. What do you think? God exists? Fuck. Kill me, please. Come on, serious question. What? Why? So you flatlined, then got your beat back. Don't tell me that's left you wondering if a construct can even be saved. The truth is, I died and rose again. Plain and simple. Uh-huh, so what was that? A miracle? What's it make you? A messiah, a phoenix, or a factory restored early model archer? Got no fucking idea what it was. And neither do you. Tell you exactly what brought you back. A clever bit of corpo tech. If there's a true messiah among us, I'll tell you who it is. Saburo Arasaka. On that, I think everyone will agree. One he'd summarily execute if he ran into it. See, that's why I'm me and you're you. You drop to your knees before gods. I drop them. Pop them Fuck right in the I don't believe in them. You're gonna tell me you don't think about being a digital psyche. Possible consequences thereof. Really? I mean, are you already dead or alive to the last existing Digi Ghost of you is shredded? Meaning, like, am I gonna ascend to Digi Heaven? Ascend to Digi Hell's more likely. But yeah. There is life after death. Silverhand already living the afterlife, and I'm talking to his animated epitaph. I don't give it an ounce of thought. Surprise. To me, I'm just that. Me. No nether world, no happy wonder world, just duped digital psychics. Weird as fuck today. Just kind of unreal. But. Reality beckons. Come on, we got places to trash. So we test you, chicken. That's weird. Did I mess it up or something? Definitely seems like that should have gone on a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go over here. Check out some stuff. Hell no. I mean, it's a tiny bit better. Now, for me, um, I couldn't care one way or the other if people believe in religion. I personally do not. Why well, I got so many of these damn hazmat suits? Do I follow the law? Meet with Detective Ward. Let's see, what is this? Oh, vehicle. What vehicle? Oh, this one? I do really like it. I just came through, enjoy it, and drive safe.
wait to look at this one. I like the steering wheels yeah. of, um... Hey, it's Rachel. The, uh, Passion Project BD. Oh, yeah. What's up? We've got a crisis on our hands. Could really use your help. Stevenson's had a breakdown. Nothing any shrink can do about it. Can you come here to the studio just to talk to him? Fine, sure. On my way. He said he'll come. Thanks, V. They won't go when I go. Okay. Oh. 2.9 kilometers. Holy hell. <coughs> Let's drive there in our new car. Hey, there we go. This is one of my favorite uh, songs on their soundtrack. Yeah, that was weird when my frame shot. That wasn't even doing anything crazy. Not even going that fast, to be honest. Rachel's been waiting for you. What's going on? Josh, you alright? Don't fucking know, don't fucking care. Get really. in there. Some people didn't like the idea of recording somebody's agony in road. Bunch of killjoys, that's all. Billions are gonna watch the brain dance. Studio's not afraid of a scandal, getting caught up in it. You kidding? Scandal's what they live for. I'd be out there too if I could be. But I got a family to look after, and the job's what it is. Where do I go? Straight down this street, building with the officer out front. Thanks. Why be me? Confessions of a brain dance addict. Preface. Do you want to be you? Seriously. Take a moment to let that question sink in. Do you feel at home in your skin? Do you like your job, your friends, your family? When you look in the mirror, do you say to yourself, I'm the luckiest person alive? 
then hop in the leather upholstered back seat of your chauffeured Rayfield? If you answered yes to any of those questions, put down this book and stop wasting your valuable time. If you answer no to the above, I understand just how you feel. It used to be said at the turn of the century that the world belongs to the 1%. Today, one thousandth of a percent is closer to the truth, and your chances of joining this group are even less than that. In this reality, I mean where you are. Where you are you. In a brain dance, you can be anyone. A broker who manages a portfolio worth trillions. An elite soldier who blasts his enemies out of existence with a tech shotgun. A suave rocker boy whom the world, world, the whole world lusts after. Now I ask you again, of the millions upon millions of people in this world, do you want to be you? The answer for me was always no. And so my story begins, should you have morales. I don't really feel like we've read that, but... That's why we have, uh... Well, that's a big part of video games, is escaping the reality that you're in. So you can do things you couldn't normally do, or wouldn't normally do. Sometimes shouldn't do. Hmm. Thought you looked more... I don't know. Professional? Whatever. Get in. Don't worry, Olga. We'll fix this. Trust me. We'll be on schedule. And a brain dance, to me, seems to be something more of what happens when escaping your reality goes a little too far. Glam now, the mag for those who love this for themselves. Heard about the latest and greatest brain dance diet? Our prediction, 2078's hottest new trend. BD diet advocate and world beloved fashionista Amber Daisy is no stranger to us at Glam. In an exclusive interview, she shared her secrets and stories about the journey her body has been on. Amber has been keeping her intake of synth and organic parts or products to a bare minimum over the past several months, and instead only experiences her meals through BDs. With a properly tuned BD, Amber says she dives in with a growling stomach but comes out of virtue feeling like she just finished binging at a banquet. Can we hope to see Amber back in America to promote this latest craze? We're keeping our fingers crossed. Bad news for all you carry Eurodyne fans, the Rocker Boys nude stills that linked to the net a few days back turned out to be F-A-K-E fake. Shocked by some poser boys from the Dil Dildon'ts, what the, the star's manager confirmed. The obvious giveaway, he said, was were some fudged details of Carrie's iconic Filipino tattoos and some teeny tiny anatomical differences. Mm-hmm. Right. That was funny. Can't go that far. Not seeing anything up there anyway. Rare components. Strong masses look like one's Johnny wears. Body count, lottery results in Haywood. This morning at the crack of dawn, a robbery of a Haywood corner store at dawn led to a shootout. Right before the final count, two more bodies, a Miss Jablonski and a Mr. L. Amar, brought the total tally up to 216. The odds were tipped by a certain Joshua Stevenson, a known member of a local drug gang. Damn you, Stevenson. We bet on 214. And to have it snatched away from us at the very last moment. In any event, congratulations to the winners of this year's contest. Consider us jealous. What the fuck? Bible stuff.
He found Jesus in prison. Christian believes that God is everywhere, a belief shared by Joshua Stevenson, 36, who found God while held in a maximum security prison. It didn't happen all of a sudden, says Stevenson, when asked about the circumstances surrounding his conver conversion. I had a lot of time to think about what I did. After a while, I understood that what I wanted more than anything was forgiveness, added the convict. Joshua Stevenson is serving a sentence for aggravated assault and murder. He showed no remorse during his sentencing so it is difficult to take his conversion to at face value. Perhaps it has something to do with the enormous media buzz his baptism has created. Could it be that news of his conversion might be the support Stevenson needs to be released on parole? Only time will tell if his conversion was bona fide. Finally. Oh, We're hey. late. Stevenson's been asking for you all day. Oh, He's in his shit. dressing room. Go talk to him. Wanted to see me? It seems you're the one friend I have. What does that say about me? What exactly is going on? What am I'm I not doing? Not your friend? Why, why am Murdering I Murdering bitch? Or maybe I am insane after all. We, uh, You've got pure intentions, I know, but you're putting them to waste doing this. Something like this. Just not worth you dying for it. It's too late now. There's, there's no going back. I, I am so afraid. Will you pray with me? A prayer of your choice. <clears throat> Don't want to pray, but I'll be right here by your side. Breathe in me, O Holy Spirit, that my thoughts may all be holy. Act in me, O Holy Spirit, that my work too may be holy. Draw my heart, O Holy Spirit, that I love but what is holy. Strengthen me, O Holy Spirit, to defend all that is holy. Guard me then, O Holy Spirit, that I always may be holy. Amen. Time to start. Let's go. I truly hope Zuleika is praying for me now. Will you stay with me? To the end, I would like you to wield the hammer. Nail me to the cross. All right, Joshua. I'll do it. <gasps> Thank you. <sighs> Let's do this. You're gonna have to say some lines. A few. We'll put them up on the prompter for you. Mystical Rapture in Film The supernatural as a subject has begun to disappear from film over recent years. Yet another symptom of the world sliding from the spiritual realm into a profane cesspool of materialism laced with realism. That is why Brides of Satan, a film detailing the sexual escapades of medieval villagers in the pits of hell, deserves all the more attention. The seemingly hackneyed plot gives rise to deeper questions on the nature of good and evil, reminding us of mankind's ultimate helplessness against the power of Satan, who has one singular aim, to ravage the feeble, trembling human soul. Brides of Satan is a must-see film for anyone interested in themes such as axiology and medieval European history. Sure. I'm sure it is. One message. Deadlines. Still waiting for a new script. Always the fucking same with these screenwriters. Someone asked them to do something they didn't plan on, and it ends up taking them hours to make the tiniest changes. I'll call later and give their boss a piece of my mind. This is weird.
Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and save us. You do not fear God. You stand condemned under the same sentence. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. We are punished justly, for we receive what our deeds deserve. But this man has done no wrong. Remember me when you come into your kingdom. Truly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Hurry up. Father, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. Amen. That was weird, Rachel. Probably my hardest gig, that. But I got through it. What now? Going home, where I'll sleep for two days straight. Be in touch about your compensation soon. You shouldn't release the BD. The world shouldn't see it. That's not up to you, that's not up to me. I'll call you. Eh, I tried it, I guess. Damn, we leveled up again? Can't jump. There we go. Well, that was, uh, weird. Eliminating a target affected by a quick hack reduces the existing cooldowns for all other active quick hacks by 35%. And then is 50% um, for the next one. Our cooldowns are actually very quick as it is. So one more here. Um, allows RAM to recover during combat. Recover 12 RAM units every 60 seconds. And then we'll get that one. Um, Although not 100% needed, still a, still a good one to have, I guess. And hopefully we can finally get this one. Increase RAM recovery rate by 50% plus 1% per, per perk level. And we'll need, we'll have level 20, so it'll be 20%. So I guess it'll be 70%. By the time we get this, which is weird, that doesn't say just plus 
or um, by 70%, um, since you have to have level 20 in quick hacking. It's odd to me. And the next one, we get a perk point. Could do I fought the law now. Meet with Detective Ward. Let's look at the map. 225,000 for that vehicle. Jeez. Well, if I didn't buy that one vehicle, I'd have that much, but uh, sadly. That's the main story. Crime reporter, go to the dealer stash. Let's go to that real quick. You f shitty motherfucker. But yeah, my personal thing on religion, you know, if it helps you, all the better. I'm not gonna knock you for it. And it is needed, but unfortunately, sometimes it's um, a little taken into account a little too much with certain things. Oh, God. oh shit. <laughs> Probably about 95 to 98 percent of my family is religious, but I don't think my brother. I think he might be the only one, me and him, that don't really believe in it. No. Maybe some of my cousins as well. Okay, I was like, where the hell is this taking me? But, I see now. Hunter. You guys okay? Oh no, I was too late. Oh. Two messages. Drones? Hey Kim. Talk to a guy who deals with the tigers. Says they got some drones to unload. Militech. 
Moss jailbroken. De-ice the works. Ain't cheap, but think they're worth the scratch. Jonas and the boys already got some like them. They're starting to poach our buyers. I mean, Carrie already started going to them. Exclusive. Let me know what you think, but quick. Tiger's got another buyer ready. And if they don't get a decent offer from us, they'll close. Frank. Problem. Mia cost... Mia. Cost of peers going up, but price per hit's sticky as fuck. Shit keeps going the way it's going. Biz won't make much sense. Gotta make the stuff last. Ideas? Marco. Could have some crushed up fluorescence. You get it fine enough. Can't see a thing. Plus it cuts up the client's nose. Makes the stuff absorb faster. Gonk won't even notice shit's been cut. Let me know what you think. Got a chum who can get us some burnt, burned out bulbs in bulb. It's a gun. That sucks. Again, it was really low. Um, thing. But, uh... Holy shit, this is annoying. <laughs> Again, I know the thing is right here, but... We only have two more. <coughs> so, I would like to do those. We only have two more as of right now. Anyway, could very easily uh, get more. What? But if we can finish both in the next one, I mean. Judy's thing is probably going to be long because she's a companion. It's a companion quest. Um, but, you know, oh shit. Let me uh, grab my vehicle. has got less traffic on it. Too damn, you know, all of them, but man, brakes do kind of suck in this one, but it's pretty easy to maneuver yeah. around the city. This is another really good one. Lavoge McAllister in the news again. Pump his asshole or eccentric genius. Acclaimed rocker boy Slavo McAllister has ruffled feathers yet again following his most recent performance at nightclub Totentas. While a rock concert brawl is no big news in itself, several unofficial sources allege it was McAllister who instigated the violent outbreak. 
after hurling a tear gas canister at paparazzi in the crowd. Before the booze-fueled melee got heated, the Cartisan Duelist premiered new songs, Cybernetic Soul, Mind is Freedom, and... Oh wait, we've read this. We read that a long time ago. That's why I didn't remember until I was like halfway through. Someone here to see you, looks like. <laughs> Wonder what about her. You must be V. Part Detective Hawk. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to me. You really intend to work with a Merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. Now I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. I can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, I'll let the case go. See me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. Not about to be Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be over her. Okay. Talk. I see Detective Hahn's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Hahn's not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. He wanted to talk. Before the attack, he wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info, too. What was it? You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. The city council of Night City absolved 32 corporations from their income tax obligations. Among them were Cantal, Arasaka, more technology. Yours looks just like the uh, last dude's truck who got shot. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought him in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. I took him downtown, but then he got lost get a statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because you got a good heart. Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? Nah. It's not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the hush hush? As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? No, but even if he's not, the murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Perales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first. Who, who would? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where he went for it. See ya. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. I'm sorry. We? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. 
This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, what you first? Let's go see his boss first. The guy who can afford all the chrome he was decked out in should have the scratch for psycho meds, too. We better check it out. Okay. Is that a tarot thing? Look like it. Hey, that's a nice guy. I don't know how far we're going. Skip the ride. A good 90% of any detective's job is talking. And the other 10%, what's it consist of? Writing reports. So, who are we supposed to talk to? CyberCycle's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. God, I keep freaking dropping frames and shit recently. idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left and take the right. What? You want a new friend? Christine Markov. Know her? Has a stall here. Christine Don't know any Markov. Christine. This isn't BD Heads Anonymous. <laughs> Christine Markov. No, but I know who she is. Stand with the tech over on the other side. Christine Marco? Hmm? No, she's over there. Thanks. Okay, you got it in, you got it in. Well, let's try to use somewhere, but I found Christine Marco waiting for you. You, Christine Marco, we have some questions. Badges. Looking for data on Pater Horvath. Worked here, apparently. Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh, yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where'd he get the Eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was doing. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. When the weird behavior actually started? When you're talking about Kato, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. For the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath, gonks both, but completely different gonks. These, uh, speeches, what did he have to say? Ryan, a corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why'd he have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, and ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Horvath saw it, who else had it in for? Besides Ryan? A madam president, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was a sunstone. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. 
somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Orvath had sponsors. He might have guessed as much. It might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. Sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. <laughs> Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Fuck off, Kitty Claus. V. Fuck off. <laughs> streets with you downright unsafe got to beef with all gangs or just the tigers I'm a cop what do you think good thing nobody got killed a little less paperwork I'll talk to my CI about your club Red Queen's race assuming you're still on board you kidding gonna ride with me I'll meet you there fine by me Well, he might not have been dead, but now he is. Damn. Oh, shit. If I would have known it was pretty close, I probably would have just uh, met him there, but... Or I uh, rode with him, I mean. I figured this was going to be one of those where, um, like if we rode with them, it would have just been kind of a long car ride in silence. Hopefully there wasn't going to be any dialogue. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. He's your CI. He doesn't know me. Well, uh, last we met, it didn't go so well. For him. People he ratted out got wind of it. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me. 
At least voluntarily. Who is this guy? Proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. All right, wait here then. Whoa! I'll take the ball gag. Let me guess. Food from a tube, rusty water from the tap, another murder outside your bedroom window. But what if you can leave all that behind? Far, far behind. Interesting. When you begin your journey to the final. You're looking for a general inspiration or something specific. I can help with both. To win a one week getaway for two at the Crystal Palace. Watson Horror Diary. Monday. You read that. Five poles, top end brain dance equipment, and the best chefs in the universe. Yes. If you're looking for a taste of paradise, don't wait a microsecond longer. Send space. Looking for a club. Red Queen's Race? Right now. If I was you, I'd try somewhere a little more welcoming. Lizzie's over in Kabuki is a good start. Or Clouds in Japan Town. Want an address. Look, club's invitation only, right? You don't know the address, means you're not welcome. Igor says hi. Fuck, no. Said I was done. I was out. Can I actually lose him, I wonder? Hey, Neil. Oh, okay. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Rest assured, Let's go. nobody will find out you talk to us. And this will truly be the last time Detective Ward will visit you. Isn't that right, Detective? Right. I swear it on the spirits of my ancestors. All we want is the courts for Red Queen's race. All right, but this is the last time, for real. It's outside city limits, near the river, Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries, goods, sometimes peeps. I got no idea why you want to go poking around there. Man, you got some weird ass empty. hair. You shut it all down. Shut it down. Before or after Mayor Ryan died. Uh, soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. <sighs> My shit luck! Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. I'm headed straight for Benita Street. Coming with? Sure. Thanks. Alright guys, and that's where we're going to go ahead and end this one. I'm going to save and restart the game. Hopefully that kind of fixes my frames. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.